hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back um so today is um a hunky uh crafting crafters companion day so uh, i did say last time that i would look at using one of the subs boxes and i decided to go with this sentiment edgeable one it's um number 44 um i have had multiples of this one um so i can't go through the box because i'm not quite sure what was there in the beginning and, and how many has gone in um but i'm going to be using the dies the stamps the ribbons the pearls one of the sheets of the printed cardstock so let me just pop that one out of the way for a second Well, I'm also going to be using um, these um, sort of scalloped edge circle dies that I got. That, um, and they must have come in a um, a goodie bag because I don't remember buying them, but I think they've been there quite a while. So I'm going to start with um, a piece of the six by twelve um, cardstock that they do, Crafters Companion. And put my board the right way and I'm going to score at three inches and then turning it around and doing the same again so I'm making a sort of gatefold card just going to turn those over burnish those down okay that's the start Okay, so I'm just going to pop that out of the way and bring my trimmer in. So I've got some silver Miri card and I'm going to cut that to two notches below the three. And I'm going to keep that at six inches. I'll do the same on this one because I want one for both sides. So two notches below the three six inches and then to go on the inside of my card I'm gonna go two notches now let's go to five and three quarters so five and three quarters inches and then I'm just gonna take two notches of that so five and three quarter minus two notches on just make sure that fits on quite nicely and it does. Oops. so I can pop these bits out of the way for a moment oh and actually there is one other thing I want to do so if I just grab another piece of the silver Marie card and if I put these dies out just kind of decide what sort of size I don't want it too huge and I'm going to go with that one I may have to redo this but um not quite the right size but at the moment I'm guessing that that is probably going to be a good size for my outer on there. Okay so let's put that out of the way. And then we can start with our die cutting. So pop those there, put that there and if I bring in the die which is here we've got this sort of cutting border here I'm just going to pop that off and then I'm going to line up so it's got a nice quite a nice squared edge so just going to make sure that's nice and straight. Actually, let's 
can use the bigger one. And I'm going to bring in some tape. And again, just making sure that's nice and straight and that I've just taken this right to the tip here. I'm just going to pop that where that's going to cut away. So it's going to cut um, into our card, but it's going to stay attached here. So um, that's going to leave us with that lovely decorative edge that we want. Right, so if I bring in my plates. Oops. Pop that onto there. And bring that up with the edge of my card a little bit. And then that onto there. And then that one onto there. And I'm just going to feed that in. Okay, so it's just quite not quite caught there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my cut tidy. Just pop it back onto there on the edge. Plate back on. And likelihood is if you put it for a second time, even if you didn't put the cut tidy on, it would likely cut anyway perfectly. But the cut tidy just gives it that little extra bit of pressure. Um, and if you haven't heard me um, talk about cut tidy before, this I got from Carnation Crafts. Um, I used to buy quite a lot of their things. I haven't bought any for a while, I have to be honest. Um, just the packages got quite expensive, I think. And you can see that's all come out perfectly on that side. And that's the decorative edge that we've got. So now I just need to clean out this die. Give it a bit of a tap. And then if I grab a cookie tool. And just get the rest of those out so if you leave any bits in the die unfortunately it doesn't create enough pressure there sometimes to cut cut through as it should do so it's worth just taking the time to cut those bits uh, to poke those bits out and just make sure your die is clean before you start um, if you can get into a good habit of cleaning your die each time before you use it that's all well and good. I haven't quite, I haven't quite managed that yet. I have to be honest. Okay, so again, uh, let's do it properly. So making sure that my cut edge is on the outside. If I cut it like this, if I did put it on like that, it's going to cut off my card, which is a disaster, and you have to start again. But everybody's going to do it a couple of times, you know, it's very easy just to forget to check. Uh, just hoping not to do that on one of my videos, yeah. but I'm sure it will happen. I'm just going to bring in a tiny bit of tape there as well. Okay, so again, this is going to go back into my cut tidy, onto the edge of my plate. And this bit is going to be a little bit repetitive for the video's sake. It's going to be me popping this in um, through on this card and then also on the silver mirror as well. Turn that 
paper. Let's get rid of that bit first of all. And you can see with that cut and tidy, it just every time just keeps that little bit of extra pressure just to get that beautiful cut. So that's our starting point with our card. So we'll pop that to the side. Okay. I'm going to clean my pile out again. Sorry, the camera may shake a little bit just while I bash it on the side. Pop that to there. And I've got a dye brush, so we'll bring that in. It's quite effective. Sometimes a tap doesn't quite work. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you have to sit and poke the whole thing by hand. And it's weird because, uh, I mean, like that first one tapped out really well with the side of the table. Um, but this, you know, second time, I decided it wasn't going to. And I don't think yet or well, i've not come across anything yet or that anybody said that i don't think there's a product you can sort of cut out um that's going to make that any easier i mean they used to say that if you um cut wax paper with your dye beforehand um it would make it sort of cut a bit better but um personally i haven't found that to be the case um, but if you've got any experience of that you know hey, do let me just do let us know because I'm sure everybody would love to know if you've had some success doing that. Okay, so um, I do have to be uh, a little bit careful in that making sure that I'm cutting the right way on these. So I want one to go just gonna dot that way. Um, it's the right way around. And through. Oh, look at those lovely bits. Again, it's cut through perfectly, so just ease that out. No, I'm just not going to do it that way. Just going to bring in this dry brush. Just give it a good. These little flowers are perfect for sort of embellishing, garnishing, you know, sort of garnishing, that's food. Um, just embellishing a project, so um, it might be worth just keeping hold of those. Waste not, want not, you know what us crafters are like. Save every bit. Just making sure, so got one more to do. those dots I mean you could save those they would make again you could use those on a card um, for decoration okay so let me just check so we've got one to go that way and then this one we need to go that way so let me just grab oops going to go on like so, so let me just move that back out of the way. Those. 
the way as well. And um, I did have a message about um, my pink mat. So this mat here, um, I did reply to it. But if, if you are looking for a craft mat, that one I got from Amazon. Um, it's purple on the other side, um, but they've got the sentiment centimeter um, measurements on. So because I mostly do work in inches, that's why I've got it on the pink side. And just going back to the cut and tidy, if um, if you you aren't able to get anything from Carnation Crafts, um, you know wherever you are in the world, I believe you'd get a similar sort of effect by using you know one of those clear plastic wallets that you put um, that you put in files. So, you know you can get the A4 one and just cut it down to size. I think you would get a similar sort of um, helping hand with that uh, from one of those. Any piece of plastic, really. Okay, so just pop those in there, make sure I've got those correct. There we go, so I'm happy with that. I'll leave the cleaning out on that one for now and just lastly just I know I will have to do some more cutting but um, just cut this out and I'm hoping it doesn't work my mirror card although a lot of it's going to be hidden anyway bit of assembling so I'm going to start so I want my tulips to go the right way up so obviously they're going to go into the center there I have cut it a little smaller than the six inches just to make sure it's not going to catch on any of my um, folds there because if you do catch it on there you may find that it doesn't fold as easy okay I'm going to be using my canal glue and get that in the stuck. Oops. I'm just going to start by popping this to my card and going from the mirror card to the back of my card is going to be fine because the card, back of the card and my card aren't uh, porous so the glue will fit, uh, sit in them really nicely and give that a really good uh, bond. When it comes to mirror card and this glue, because of the alcohol in there, if you do get any too close to the edge, it could take the shine off your mirror. So just be super careful. I tend to not put it near the edges. Just to try and avoid it sort of splurging out. If you're in any way worried about that, then just use your um, tacky glue instead. Same job. I just prefer the um, alcohol one because it just gives me that little bit um, of time to get stuck down. Okay, so this um, mirror layer, I just want it to just pop over a little bit. So I'm going to take some red liner tape and I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm just going to put them down on the inside there and again on the inside of this one here 
and you do have to put it down on the mirror side because we're going to be sticking the mirror side to the underside of our card okay so if I give them both just the burnish down if you give it a good press down with your bone folder or something like that what you'll find is that the it sticks better to the underside so it tends to be a little bit easier just to get the top of it off okay so if you have been struggling um, it's worth sort of bearing that in mind okay and I'm going to use my tacky glue on here and then if I bring in just a little scrap of card and I should have a dotty tape pen I'm just going to pop that just carefully oh, my run out Hold on just a second okay, so I've got a second one here with any frondy bits dots as well keep a piece of card for in a second and just notice there was two little bits stuck in there so I'm just going to come line that up at the top with just The edge poking through. And if I bring that bit of card back in, and I can give that a good burnish down. And I can see, so there, and there, and was there another one? Ah, there. Just had a little bit stuck in there, so just poke that one out and just check that one it does look like it has come out quite nicely so I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side a little bit of tacky glue and then that's just going to give it a little bit of strength and then on here just pop that under again and just Nice light touch with this. Oops, dotty glue pen. And along there. And then if I come back in again, I'm just lining it up just so there's a little tiny bit of a drop shadow. Once I'm happy there, Oops. give that a good press down. And I can see I've got a little bit of silver there that shouldn't be, which is just stuck in the dye. Yeah, there we go. So that's the effect we've got. So I'm hoping you can pick that up quite nicely there. And I can see also just these little bits on the end. Just going to bring my sticky scissors in. Just give it a nice little trim down. I think that one's pretty much okay. And just give that a trim down, like so. Okay. So that's that's all done there. So um, this is going to go in the centre with our sentiment on. So the sentiment we're going to take um, from these here. So I'm going to have to cut a, uh, a mat on there. So I'm going to decide. Let's have a look. So we've got on your birthday, 
enjoy your day sending you lots of hugs make a wish um, on your birthday so let's see let's see what we should do enjoy your day sending you lots of hugs on your birthday Let's uh, start by cutting out something to go in the centre. I'm just going to bring in a piece of white card. That way. And then if I bring in the next size down die. And we will pop that through. Okay. And again, because it's a basic shape, it's not going to need any untidy. going to be hard to get those to stay we'll just put on the edge just for a bit of extra security so let's do um, enjoy your day which I'm gonna pop up there first of all so I'm gonna do that in the black happened is it's just as I've, as I've pressed it down I've moved it up and it sort of smudged a little bit we've got a bit of a shadow going on so let's see when I get another one out of here or will I need to cut another piece of card let's see Like I've said to you before, stamping and me, sometimes it works well, sometimes I get this slowly. At the end of the day, it's just a little piece of card, and even though I've just had to whip that through again, it's not a real hardship really, so put that down see whether we were still in the right place and I think half the problem is because of the way I've been storing this I've got a little bit of a bow in the center of it so let's just so I've got my enjoy your day pop in that there down 
we'll move that over because it's going to get in the way. Okay, so I'm just using waterproof um, ink here just purely because it's all I've got to hand. Just make sure I get down from the centre this time. one back on there and we'll put that one out of the way and then also on here on these stamps we've got a couple of little flowers so I'm just wondering whether it might be better just to do these with a stamp block so I'm just going to rub those dots off it's not going to make a whole heap of difference once I put it um, into my project anyway. Okay. So I did have an old stamping block here. It's very old. I'm going to pop that on. And then I think so we've got yellow, pink and blue. So let's see. Green. This is quite a bright colour, this raspberry. Let me just. I think that'll be fine. So I'm just going to ink up this little flower. And then super carefully just pop that on. Lovely. I'm going to do one more. I'll risk it for a biscuit. And these are the, the shimmer ones, so they're quite a nice bright. So let's go. Awesome. That's that one. And I'm hoping I've got either a blue or a yellow that will do. There's a blue. So we'll pop that onto there and I'll bring this little one in. And just ink it up quite nicely. Awesome. Okay, that that's better than I thought it was going to. So what I need to do now is pop that onto there and give my hands a little wipe over. Bring in my beat it tool. Just because of this type of ink, um, it's a uh, it's quite got quite a long open time, so I'm just going to dry it off a little bit, just so it doesn't smudge when I do the next bit. Just watching my fingers because it's quite hot. And then if I bring in one of these which I did cut down, I think if we come in with a little bit of yellow and then we've matched all of our colours. So I'm just going to grab a blending tool which is hiding from me. Sorry, still got the creaky chair. straw bale I think I'll just pop a little bit on the edge there just to see yeah, I think that's going to be fine so just that this bit's not quite so white I'm just going to bring this in it seems to have a bit of green on it for some reason I'm not quite sure why but we'll leave it been already on my map. Uh, hey -ho. It's not awful, so there we go. Okay. Quite 
as yellow as I thought, but that's fine. We can live with that. Okay, so put that out of the way. And I'm going to use my tacky glue, I think, just to pop this onto the back of there. Scallops, pop it sort of in the middle, and then I've got some of these hunky dory strips because I don't want it to be too high, just want just the tiniest bit. just onto there just to give us a bit of wiggle time just in case we don't get that quite in the right position I'm going to pop that just in there so you will be able to see it through just about okay so one of the things I hadn't taken into consideration is these bits here so um, I think I'd like to um, cover those up with something so um, actually I've just found one of these silver bits, so I'm just going to pop that to the centre of there. We not want that. Okay, yeah, so um, I'm just going to bring the box back in. And I think for this bit, I don't think I want to go with some more of that. I think that's going to be... A bit too busy. I think if we get one of the plain uh, card stocks out, so not printed, let's go all the way down to the bottom. Code card. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got orange, we've not used orange. I think maybe the pink. Should we bring the pink? Or should we bring the blue? The green. Let's go with the pink. Okay, I'll just put that one back out of the way. I'm going to start by bringing my trimmer back in. So we know that they were three inches across. So I'm going to go to about two and three quarters and then two notches under the six and then again two and three quarters and two notches under the six. So I've got a couple of, obviously I'm going to need to trim this down a little bit more than that because this is a smaller piece. Um, I've got a couple of options, so I can either just do a straight piece, okay, but what I thought I might try is, um, take those bits off there, is replicating this curve. Now the only way I'm going to be able to do that I think is with a knife. Um, and I figure going along this metal edge is probably going to be the easiest way to do that. Okay, so um, it needs to be, let's see, am I going to be able to do it with one of these pieces? No, so let's give up that piece, pop it down, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so if I start by popping this onto here, I am going to tape it down quite nicely. Just, just putting an equal amount at the top and the bottom, popping that 
into there. And then I'm going to bring my knife in, which isn't the sharpest, so it's not going to help. I'm just going to run it down that metal edge. And then hopefully I should just have to trim off to the right. Yep, and that's worked perfectly. So let's do that again on the other side. So this time I need to cut that side. Alright, yeah, so we need to go, hmm, just stick this through, it's only card and I've got another piece, okay, so I need to pop that as straight as we can, a bit of tape on there like so and again with my knife and I am pressing quite hard because I want to go through in one go she says and then she doesn't manage to go through in one go there we go and hopefully that should match that Perfectly. Lovely. That went better than I thought it was going to. I'm just going to take that little white bit off there. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in a pencil. Because the only way I'm going to be able to get this cut to the right um, mat size that I want is going to be by just making it a mark on there. So I'm just going to move that up a little bit so I can see where the edge of the paper is. So if I put an edge line on there, and there, on that one, and then again on here. And then I know just to go in a little bit from there. I am going to put a bit of ribbon on there as well. We might as well. We've got it in the kit. So hopefully this is going to sit quite nicely for us. So I'm just going to go approximately two notches over. And again with this one. check those because that might need another bit of trimming so that one's fine how about this one it's a little bit so this might get a little tricky grab the ribbon very quickly okay so I've bought in blue and yellow just to see what goes best I suspect it's going to be the blue but I do quite like that yellow let's go with the yellow okay so I'm just gonna roughly trim that down Again on that one, just wondering whether I should ink them a little bit, but I don't think I will just purely because if I do it with the yellow, you're not really going to see it. Um, we could go around with a little bit of the blue, no, we won't. There's no inking, we're not going to do that. Okay. So we'll leave that as it is. If you want to ink it or you know you're copying this and you feel like you want to ink it, please do go ahead. Let me 
medium size red tape so just going to cut a couple of bits off that off here and again I'm just going to give it a brownish down And then just making sure I've got my ribbons shiny side up. And this didn't come with the kit. This is a separate, a different ribbon. Um, the ribbons that came with the kit are green, pink and blue. So I wanted a thinner ribbon because it's just a tiny piece on the edge there. So, so that's that one. And then again with this second piece okay apologies you may have heard the dog barking there so it's just knocked on the door to the man okay so i'm just gonna again making sure i've got this sort of shiny side up that down just make sure that's nice and straight I've just got an edge there so I'm just gonna, it's just where the the trimmer's not quite trimmed off neatly so I'm just gonna go down that with my knife just get rid of that okay so then we can go ahead and pop these on so I'm gonna use my oops, if I don't lose it, my all purpose glue. So, should... and there, like so, and then again, up this side. I'm just making sure I've got a quite a nice sort of border there. Well, it's not perfect. I mean, that's a little closer than it is down the bottom there, but I am happy with that. Okay. And then last, uh, but by no means least, I'm going to use some gems. And I believe I did have some pearls here that came in this kit. Haha. Uh -huh. Ah. So we've got the green, the pink and the blue. We've got a couple of choices. I mean if we wanted to we could go and pop a couple of these onto those big flowers. Which might be quite nice actually with these pink ones. But then I kind of feel if you're going to do some you need to do all. And then it might show through, it might still be sticky on the other side. So I don't think I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is pop one, two, three on there. Put my nice big one. Then one of these medium ones. Let's grab my picky up tool with that one because I think it's come off the sticky anyway. Okay, that one. Spread that a little bit and that glue will dry clear. And then if I come the same this bottom side here just spread that a bit more this time still managed to catch two of them okay Okay. 
So obviously there's loads more that you could do. You could go in and um, ink all around here if you wanted to. Um, I've not done that today obviously. So it was just annoying me because it wasn't quite straight. Um, you know you could use anything on the inside of there. You could even still go in with the um, with the lettering from here like happy birthday we could have cut that into the base there um you know there's loads of variations of this that you can try um but let me know what you think of that if you've had this kit and you've made cards let me know how you found it to work with i think there's um quite a few different combinations that you can use um but it's just getting your mind thinking the right way um to sort of get on and, and have a little play with them but hopefully you've liked this card don't forget there is um, a hunky jewelry giveaway um, from a couple of days ago um, that's going to be running until the 31st of January um, but until then thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves bye bye